My name is Elizabeth Kendall. I'm a Professor of Community Science in the Griffith Health Institute and I'm also Director of Research at the School of Human Services and Social Work. At the moment my research interests are people and how they manage themselves and take control of their lives. I'm also interested in how we uh, engage communities and help communities and citizens to be more in control of, of what happens to them in their, in their world. And probably also in healthy environments and how we produce environments that can actually impact positively on people rather than making people sick and unhealthy. When I, when I graduated um, in the 80s, I went to work as a psychologist in the community. And I was working with people who had traumatic brain injuries, disabilities, acquired disabilities through accidents. And I loved working as a psychologist, but I really felt sometimes that my, my impact was very limited. It was limited to the people that I was interacting with. And there was so much more that I could see needed to change in the world about how people were treated and, and how disabilities were prevented in our society. So um, I spent uh, quite a bit of time doing research in the community and then realised that I may as well get a PhD. So I did the PhD, uh, which, I, which focused on uh, adjustment following traumatic brain injury. And it was one of the first big studies that, that traced people over time and, and worked out how they actually coped and, and what helped them to cope. Community science is, is an interesting branch of research that's slightly different to social science, uh, although there's a lot of overlap, um, and very different to medical science. So the, the idea of community science is that it's about researching complex problems as they exist in real life and as they're experienced by people, um, rather than in contrived research situations. So not in laboratories, not in questionnaires. Um, it's also about different forms of knowledge. It's about tapping into knowledge that's not always available to traditional researchers um, and working with people as partners in that research. One of the key issues that we're facing is how to um, define community science and make it distinct from other areas of science and enable those other areas of science to actually value what it is we do. Although that's a challenge, I think we're facing probably the best period of time for community science right now because everybody is talking about translation of knowledge into practice. So there's a big drive for researchers to become more relevant in society and that's what we've always been doing.